What's up, Mawati homies? It's your girl, Alifia, coming back with another video. And in this video, I am sharing, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, let me get myself together. This video is a get ready with me video, but I am sharing my, or get it, get it together. I am sharing my Trend Mood and Nebula Cosmetics bag, box, bag, box. I am sharing my Trend Mood times, times? Trim Mood and Nabla Cosmetics box. So if you would like to see this, get ready with me and see what's in this box, then please continue to watch. I have tried to get a Trim Mood box before and sometimes it's pretty, 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 pretty. It's pretty hard to get a Trim Mood box because some of them sell out. But this one did not sell out before I was able to get one. So the first thing that came, and y'all, this box, I'm not even gonna show you the, let me let me just show y'all. I tore this box up. This, this, everything is just a sh in shambles. But let me just try to be professional for the video. So anyway, the first thing that came in this box is the side-by-side -side nude palette. This is what the box looks like. Okay, it's nude, it's not gonna show right. But here's the palette right here, very, very nude. And here is what the palette looks like. Very pretty colors. I think they are very pretty colors. I, I don't know whether I said it, but just in case I didn't say it, I this is my first time getting something from Nabla Cosmetics. I do not, prior to this box, I did not own anything by Nabla Cosmetics. So that's what made me want to go ahead and try it. And other than the Fancy Face, I really don't see Nabla Cosmetics, well, the Fancy Face and Maya Galore, I think I saw with Nabla Cosmetics. I don't see a lot of people use Nabla Cosmetics. The next thing that I got out of this box is the Major Pleasure Mascara by Nabla. Everything in here, well not everything, but these two things definitely have that nude color. And this is the Major Pleasure Mascara. Girl, because of this color, it's just not gonna focus right. So, and it's kind of like the tube is kind of heavy. I did go ahead and open it up even though I don't like to have too many mascaras open up. But this is what I used this morning even though I do have on falsies. And then the next thing that came in here, I did not use this, but is the Nabla Cosmetics Ruby Lights Glitter Palette. And I did not use this palette because I did not want to fool with glitter. And here it is, and these colors are, let me show you from, let me show you what these colors are. This is Capricorn, Ruby, Whisper, and Virgo. They are very pretty colors. And this one right here kind of got a little bit on the lid, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to fool with glitters this morning. How is the, they don't come off real, real good. I may have to use like a synthetic brush to make them come off. So, I don't know, we'll see. The last thing that is in this box is this little pouch with, and it had these brushes in it. And it's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brushes. I believe that's how many it is. Yeah, eight brushes. I didn't take these out. I'll look at these another time, but they look like they're all synthetic brushes. Hmm, I don't know, let me see. Let me let me just open this real quick, see what the quality feels like a little bit. It's like a little precision brush. I like that brush. So yeah, I'll fool with these in the morning properly. So anyway, so that is it. I don't know, did I show the makeup before I show the products? No, I didn't. Now let's get into this makeup. So yesterday I forgot to put on my earrings before I went to work. So today, so to make sure I don't forget some earrings, I already put them on. So anyway, this is the palette for the week. But as you guys know, I am showing you my Nebla and I've never used Nebla Cosmetics. And as I know I'm going to show you in the intro, this one is the, why does it feel like something that's in my eye? Anyway, this one is a new by side, no, side by side new palette by Nabla. It has a nice little mirror right here. And here is what the palette looks like. So let's see, what do I wanna do? I think there's this color called, uh, not I think, but here we have Burnt Sienna right here. So I'm going to go into my crease with this Burnt Sienna color. I pretty much kind of always usually start with a color similar to this in my crease. So I made a video yesterday morning, but I don't think that video, I haven't checked the footage, but just from filming and trying to look in the viewfinder, I don't think the lighting on that one is what I want it to be. So therefore, I probably won't upload that one if I end up uploading it. I'll let you know, like I'll put a little note in the video saying that I uploaded it. 
But anyway, today is December the 2nd and I will not, I'm going to upload or try to upload more videos this month, but I will not be participating in Vlogmas because of my timing and being able to edit and all that good jazz. Well, I'm an editing type of girl and I like to do, if I'm going to do a live, that is fine. But if I'm going to be recording these videos in the mornings before I go to work, I'm not doing a live this early in the morning who's really going to be watching a live at this time of morning so so i won't be doing that but i can tell you that i will like i said i will try to upload more videos and of course this is a get ready with me so y'all know i'm not pointing out every color that i'm using and all that kind of good jazz since i showed the first one the one that i put on my brow bone is this one right here called halftime i think i'm going to take tempera this one right here and put this one over here in my outer crease but I'm using a different camera lens and I actually bought this camera lens before a couple of years ago it's a 50 mm and I cannot think of what the focal length is right now but I just wanted to try to amp it up a little bit with my videos and the quality and so this one is a Canon and I bought it from Amazon, but I went back and I saw another one that is a 50 mm and it's another company. So that one should be here today so that I can see how that one is. And then I can send this one back because that one is like was like half the price. And if it's going to have good quality and work, then why spend like double the money? Because this one was like $100 and that one is like 50 something dollars. So right here. The reason why I sent this camera, this lens back years ago when I had it was because I really, 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 because of the location and where you have to sit it at and how far you have, how close you have to be, it was not, it didn't match with my setup, but this time I'm trying to make it work. Okay, that color right there, I probably should have put some concealer on before I put this color on because it's not giving me a good payoff so I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye or maybe I should have done it with my use my finger because that's just not enough payoff for me so let's try magic moment okay magic moment is definitely better I'm just gonna put this color of course as you guys can see all over my crease this is my I mean not crease all over my lid as my lid color taking it all the way to the corners I'm not going to do a second lid color this morning I just want to use this one so I have a video that I plan on making Thursday I had a I've had a very eventful month since my birthday let me just say that since my birthday I've had a very, very, well, no, 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 not since my birthday. I guess you could say since my birthday. But anyway, I've had a very eventful last three or four weeks. And last week during Thanksgiving, everything just kind of came to a head. And I'm going to share it with you guys. And it is just like OMG. It's an OMG type of thing and i'm going to share with you guys so now let's see i'm going with who no 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 let me color correct so the last video i put up the day before no let me get my words together yesterday i put up the video another burgundy look because i used burgundy again and i did not realize it until i was uploading the video that i had just recently done a burgundy color so anyway i used morea in that video just to see once more whether or not Morea was going back and I have since taken Morea back since I recorded that video because Morea just was too dark for me and it wasn't so much the color made it too dark it was the undertone I'm eating ice y'all anyway this is the Huahine foundation and I took the Morea back like I said and so Huahine and one thing about this NARS foundation while it says it doesn't oxidize it dries down to, I guess you could say, it's true color. 
and why does it always feel like this out anyway i guess that's the, the way my lighting is but anyway one thing i can always tell how i can tell when i have a makeup that is too light i mean i'm sorry too dark is by my nose because my nose is like much much lighter and whenever i have a foundation that is too dark and if I make a mistake and rub my nose, you can definitely see it. So you see how Huahine, I mean, like I said, I was just torn when it came to these colors. This NARS Soft Matte Foundation, it was kind of, oh, honey. But I kept on trying to find the right color because of the payoff of the foundation. Girl, I love this foundation. If you haven't tried it, I would suggest you give it a try. I really would anyway like I was saying so I plan on because I need like for this video that I'm going to record I need time to just think it out how I want to share it present it all that kind of stuff which throughout this week and today is Wednesday once again like I said and you know I have to go to work because even though we were a lot of people thought we weren't going to come back because we were told before we went out for the Thanksgiving holiday to take everything just in case we didn't go back but that's not what happened a lot of people were disappointed i wasn't disappointed and the reason why i wasn't disappointed is because it's better to be i mean well how, how can i say it while i would rather the students be at home and we work from the building or all of us be at home during this time I would rather find out that no, we're going back because our cases didn't increase enough than to find out, yeah, we're, we're, we're not going because we have a whole lot more cases. Even though I truly think there are more cases than what they've gotten at this time because people still have to get tested and all that kind of good jazz. So I think the numbers are going to increase. But I truly think with our county, and it's just my opinion, I think our county just doesn't with our superintendent i think he just doesn't want to make the decision because there are a lot of counties that are either doing well we're doing both but there are some counties that one day a week i've heard that you know don't go because of them trying to clean or something in the building but we have to go every day we don't have a day off where they just say okay we're going to take this day to clean the building to get things right we don't have that but and we go every day and it's really tiring like teaching virtually and teaching in the class is a really tiring task and nobody unless you're doing it no one can truly understand how much it's tired how tiring it is and how taxing it is on the mind and on the body even my wife i, I don't think that she truly truly understands how much pressure I'm under right now and not just trying to teach virtually and traditionally but also I have extracurriculars that I do that are really just with trying to make sure you know like I, I do the yearbook y'all know that I do the yearbook we're trying to figure out how am I going to pull off a yearbook this year with taking care of pictures for the school with trying to do a newsletter and then when you're trying to do a newsletter and you need information from the school and information from other people and people don't share with you don't tell you anything it's it's very very hard I find out things like at the last minute and even things that my principal as the person being the journalist so to speak and doing the person being the person that's supposed to cover things my principal doesn't tell me stuff all he does sometimes is come back and tell me what someone else is doing like the guy that's a teacher that's in the marketing department he comes telling me what he does and how he does with his students him and I are two different people. His classroom has different people than I have in my classroom. And when I say that, I'm talking about like going to events, getting coverage, because right now with my class, I don't have like, I don't have many students that, I don't have many, I have one student. When I say many, I have one student, I have 10 students in the class, but I have one student that is willing to go to events and do things. And you can't force somebody to go and he can't go to everything because of his responsibilities at home that of course I can't talk about but right now with this going on you can't force somebody to go out and do something especially if their parents are saying no my child is not going out in this pandemic or no my child can't go out so to you know the students are different and and with 
his students, he may have more students whose parents are willing to let them do things. I and, and not just that, I may just have students that don't like to go out and do things because sometimes with these elective classes, and it's an elective course, but sometimes with these elective classes, students get, don't get into these classes just because they want to learn about the thing and they want to do it. They want to get into the class because they just need something on their schedule and they're hoping that it's something that is not going to that's not going to require much from them. So they don't get in the class with the intentions of, oh, okay, I'm going in here because I want to help with this yearbook. I want to do blah, 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 blah. Now, when I first started with this class, and that could, and as time goes on, you know, these children are part of the same generation, but some students just care about school and certain things that go along with school more than others. And it is what it is. And, you know, one thing I can't do is force a child or make a child go out and do something especially when it's an event outside because or if they don't have transportation or what have you I even have a student that is no longer in my journalism class but she will reach out to me and be like you know do I need her to do something if she can do it and so then I'll let her go and take pictures or something like that but but she's also virtual she's at home so the pictures that she does take she has to take them from her phone because her mom's not going to bring her up to school to pick up a camera, you know? So I have to make do with and make it do what it do with what I have. And so it's just really, really like stressful right now. I just got to have to do everything I can to maintain and, and, and keep from being stressed. And right now with what has happened in my life, that is a factor that was stressing me out but now because things worked out the way they worked out i'm not stressed about it so that is definitely a good thing and like i said i cannot wait to share it with y'all did i contour my nose too much yes i did anyway it'll be all right i can't wait to share it with y'all because it is such a good thing it really is it's such a good thing and i'm excited i'm excited about it and i haven't put that dog on Charlotte Tilbury bronzer down since I got it. I need to rotate now, you know. All right, so my blush, I just want to show you. I'm using my Fenty Cream blush. I pulled this back out a little bit to use it. I, hadn't, I haven't been using these, so I pulled it back out to use it. And y'all know all I do is just kind of like stamp this on my face because it is a cream blush. And I'm putting it over powder. And then all I do is just take my powder brush. Don't put any more powder on it. And I just kind of go over that spot. That's all I do. And lately, I have not been highlighting, but I want to highlight. Where's the highlighter? <laughs> I don't know why. I go through these phases where I highlight and then these phases where I don't highlight. And so, let's see. What is this? This is Hustler Baby by Fenta. Fenta. This is Hustler Baby by Fenty. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but anyway. I didn't get a blush in that Nabla Cosmetics. So, yeah, I had to use that. So, my lip lippy of the week uh oh let me clean this thing off so i have to make sure that i wipe the makeup over here to put that shine back on her can y'all see her can y'all see her anyway so i'm using the bff3 by ColourPop. then the which one is this uncuffed by fenty these things right here, I don't know what the shelf life is on these, but as they get old, they get a smell. So if you start to smell, they start to smell funny, that's because they've gotten old. There are some really, really good lippies. Mmm, I like, and I really, look at that color. And my look actually turned out much more neutral than I planned, but... I wanted to try this palette and it is it is a nude palette duh but anyway So now I want to go over this though with my mascara, my liner, my hot, my house laboratories liner. 
so that bring that darkness out on it don't don't be hating girl don't be don't be don't be don't be hating all right you guys so i pulled that back too much and this umbrella is showing but i'm about to get out of here gotta go home gotta go home have to go to work so i do hope you enjoy watching this video is that umbrella getting on y'all nerves because it's getting on my nerves let me get it out of the picture i mean out of the video so anyway <laughs> cannot talk today so anyway i'm about to get out of here and go to work i do appreciate you coming back to check out another video on my channel please do like comment subscribe and share this video across all your social media sites and if there's anything that you would like to see here on my channel please do leave it down in the comment section and let me know and yeah i'll see what a sister can do okay anyway i'm gone i feel like i'm too close I'm how the mood is because this can't be in the way while I'm trying to make my intro and outro bump it y'all just gonna have to deal with it once again I thank you guys so much for checking out another video here on my channel and until the next time in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and I will do what catch you on the flip side bye